The weather outside is frightful indeed, with vehicle crashes spiking as the winter weather intensifies. And with these cold temps, most people will do whatever they can to warm up, but even that comes with some dangers. We'll tell you what you need to know coming up. And most of our snow has stopped and cue the ice. We've got freezing rain and sleet this morning. I'll get to all the details coming up in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald and I'm Stacy Lee. So pretty icky on the roads this morning. Very icky on the roads. I generally don't like to mom the listeners, but I'm just going <laughs> to do it. I already texted my son, just stay in. So we had several inches of snowfall yesterday. Some areas have been plowed, some have not. And then when I left, it was, uh, well, ice was coming out of the sky. So that's now yes. landing on top of that snow, making roads treacherous. I'm yes. not sure about the highway because I didn't drive. I was on side streets and it was slippery. How about you? When I was driving in, um, every time I turned, I took it very, very slow yeah. because there was a lot of slipping and sliding going on. So I would agree if you do drive outside, take it slow. There's a lot of cancellations and delays for right. schools in our areas. Um, so a lot less drivers on the road, right. but still stay a little it's careful. One of those more kind of dangerous this morning to be out mm -hmm. driving. So let's take a look at our weather. Let's, let's talk about our alert day. We've got that wintry mix, ice and sleet falling through the region. Pretty much everyone is dealing with that this morning, so be prepared for that. It should taper off later in the morning. That's when all of our advisories will wrap up around 10 o'clock today, but that's what's happening again with our weather alert day. Here's our Skywatch radar pink. That is all mixed precip coming through. The snow has now uh, gone on up to the north, but anywhere from Yakima down into Prosser, into uh, eastern Oregon, Columbia Basin, into the foothills of the Blues, we're seeing that precip. 26 degrees right now on our sky cam. Winds light at 7 miles an hour. Our feels like temp is 18, so it's very chilly. Uh, I've got my snow boots on today. Winter storm warnings. Most of these will expire around 10 o'clock today, but here's what's going on. We still could see a little bit of snow and ice. I'll get to uh, the pass reports. We've got a couple of roads closed and people closing down to do avalanche control this morning. Here's the headlines for you. Get ready for warmer temperatures as we head towards the weekend and some light mountain snow with some lowland uh, area rain over the weekend. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. The crash numbers are in for the first day of this major snowfall and slick conditions resulted in a lot of crashes. One of those took place near Badger Canyon Road. According to Washington State Patrol Trooper Chris Thorson, the most collisions occurred in the Tri-Cities, reaching a total of 65 just on Wednesday, Wednesday alone. And that's followed by 16 in Yakima, 4 in the Yakima Valley, and 3 in Walla Walla. With conditions expected to be worse today, remember to drive for the conditions and give other vehicles, especially big trucks and snow plows, plenty of room. It can be hard to stay warm in these frigid temperatures, and there are lots of options when it comes to portable heat, but there's still the danger of carbon monoxide poisoning. An odorless and colorless gas, fire officials say you should have a carbon monoxide detector on each floor of your home. We have had exposures caused because neighbors were running generators or other equipment outside and that home's heating system sucked in the air from the outside and brought that carbon monoxide alarm or, and brought that carbon monoxide into the house with it. Working smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors in your home have been found to effectively double your safety. With the temperature in our region staying below freezing, one of our most vulnerable populations need a place to escape the cold. You can call 211 or visit 211.org for information about overnight warming shelters in the Tri-Cities. Ben Franklin Transit has bus routes to take people to the shelters. According to Transit, customers can wait for their bus on an idling warm bus at any Ben Franklin Transit Center. You can find more winter readiness resources on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. There are a ton of closures today, and our live weather blog has updated school closures and delays. That's a long list today, along with a checklist of items to keep in your car when navigating winter weather and much more. Again, you can find everything you need to know at applevalleynewsnow.com. The United States Supreme Court will not hear an appeal to overturn Washington's capital gains tax.
Aimed at ensuring the super rich pay what they owe in taxes, the capital gains tax is a 7% tax on profits from the sale of stocks and bonds worth over $250,000. First passed by the Washington Legislature in 2021, fewer than 8,200 households would pay the tax, according to the Washington State Budget and Policy Center. In its first year, it accounted for nearly $900 million in funding that largely goes toward school construction, child care, and early learning programs. Well, there's a chance to ensure dogs across the region have enough food through the winter season. The Benton Franklin Humane Society is asking the community for dog food donations. According to the agency, those donations will become available for local residents. Uh, there's no appointment needed, and you can just show up at the Benton Franklin Humane Society and request a donation of dog food. I think it's just very important to note that this drive is not for our animals, uh, it's for our community. Uh, we obviously have food for our animals, thanks to our generous donors, so we would just hope that you guys would mention or in, in, emphasize that we're not begging for food for our animals, we're just trying to help our community members a little bit. The Benton Franklin Humane Society says they're accepting cat food as well, and you can make donations of canine clothing like sweaters and vests, which can help keep them warm during this extreme weather. What if you could go to work every day in an old growth forest or a beach on the Pacific Ocean? The Washington State Park Service is hiring over 300 seasonal park aides for spring, summer and fall. Most park aides are put in charge of things like registering campers, maintaining trails and buildings, and assisting with interpretive and educational programs. The agency says that the park aid path has room for growth, with the potential to become a ranger, go into customer service, or move into human resources. Over $312 million will go toward affordable housing and home ownership help for low-income Washington residents. The Washington State Department of Commerce emphasized that a lack of affordable housing is one of the top causes of chronic homelessness. The investment will fund 73 projects all across the state, including a $7.6 million apartment project in Yakima that will have 39 affordable housing units. We'll return in just a moment, but first, another quick look at the weather with Stacy. Right now, we've got some ice and sleet falling through the area. Chilly out there, 26 with a feels like temp of 18. Bundle up and uh, try to stay off the roads this morning if at all possible. And a new medical study shows taking a multivitamin every day could help improve memory for everyday events and prevent cognitive decline in older adults. We'll take a look at the data next on Good Morning Northwest. Come aboard water to wine cruises. Our unique weekend brunch cruise offers delicious dishes by our chefs as you take in beautiful views of the river. Start the morning off right and visit watertowinecruises.com to book your brunch today. Valley Nissan is your new Nissan Rogue headquarters. Over 25 new Rogues to choose from, all on the lot and clearly marked with low sale prices. Drive home a new 2023 Rogue for as low as $27,990. And listen to this, Interest rates as low as 0%, so why wait? Price, selection, and low APR financing. The time to buy is now. The place to buy is Valley Nissan. So come see us today. Valley Nissan is your new Rogue headquarters. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. February is American Heart Month. Join us in going red for women Friday, February 2nd at Desert Wind Winery in Prosser for a heart healthy luncheon with guest speaker, Prosser Memorial Health cardiologist, Dr. Karan Vadi and MC Shea Frechette. Event proceeds benefit the Prosser Memorial Health Foundation. Tickets are just $50 each and available online now at prosserhealth.foundation or by calling 509-786-6601.
Bring in the new year with style at More Furniture's New Year's Sale this holiday weekend. We're celebrating all weekend long with incredible values on furniture and mattresses in time for the new year. Your home deserves a fresh start for 2024, and we've got everything you need during the New Year's Sale at More Furniture. Visit your local showroom or morefurniture.com to preview all sales specials. Sometimes it takes a different approach. Hey, that's Mrs. Johnson, right? Great. To see the possibilities all around you. Ten. You gonna have a big birthday party? Right. You feeling okay? With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, you can earn your nursing degree without putting life on hold. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. It's Monday Night Football on Saturday afternoon. Houston travels to Baltimore to face the Ravens with the winner moving on to battle for the AFC Championship. The Texans and the Ravens. It all starts with NFL Countdown at 11 a.m. Saturday on Apple Valley News Now. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. What some scientists call an exciting new study shows a multivitamin a day could keep dementia away or at least slow down its onset. ABC's Allison Kosick has the details. My feeling is that I don't need them. Or do we? A new study shows taking a multivitamin every day could help improve memory for everyday events and prevent cognitive decline in older adults. This is a very important step forward in looking at the research of nutrition and vitamin supplementation in an aging population when we're talking about cognitive decline, dementia, and Alzheimer's. And this set of disorders affects 50 million Americans. The latest study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition is one of three in a series. Researchers followed more than 500 adults, ages 60 and older, who took a daily multivitamin over a two-year period. We can say that there might be hope that optimizing nutrition in this population, whether it's from a diet or from vitamin supplementation, may prevent cognitive decline and improve memory. Researchers say those who took the vitamins versus a placebo had memory equivalent to someone nearly five years younger and had cognition equivalent to someone two years younger. Still, the results are raising skepticism because previous studies were inconclusive about the benefits of multivitamins. There are a lot of studies out there that do show that the claims put forth by the vitamin and supplementation industry are not evidence-based. This is a multi-billion dollar industry that is not tightly regulated. So if you are an older individual and you have a deficiency in some vitamins or minerals or perhaps that you don't have optimal nutritional status, it may be a good idea to take a multivitamin. But again, this is a conversation that people should be having with their doctor. It's important to note doctors say not every multivitamin may have the same results and multivitamins should not be viewed as a replacement for healthy diet and exercise. Every four and a half minutes a baby is born with a birth defect, according to the CDC. While many will go on to lead long lives, these defects are a leading cause of death for infants in the U.S. There are many causes of birth defects such as genetics, behaviors, uh, along with social and environmental factors. And while not all defects can be prevented, some can, and that's why it's important to know your family's medical history and have uh, healthy behaviors even before pregnancy. Things like smoking, alcohol, or other illicit drug use, we, we really need to curtail um, because those will be causes. And then getting into medications, uh, what's safe and what's not safe in pregnancy. Doctors say that if you're pregnant, 400 milligrams of folic acid per day along with prenatal vitamins can help lower risks. A new phone app being developed by the University of Washington can judge your cough to see if you have tuberculosis. The app it was designed to help uh, in rural areas that may not have access to sophisticated labs for testing. While the app can't give a definitive diagnosis, it could potentially lead to more testing and quicker treatment. Coming up, the bout of bitter cold still has its grip on most of the country from Oregon to the Northeast. At least 41 deaths are now blamed on the extreme weather. And Stacy Lee will return with a look at your first alert 
weather forecast. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Okay, so I'm not sure I could even talk about this, but U.S. Cellular has a new deal where you can get any phone for free. Seriously. Wow. You're so right. That's a totally awesome deal. I know it's not my business, but I just had to tell you. My business sense says that's a great deal. Yeah, maybe we should all keep this to ourselves. No selfies. Excuse me, it's work. Talk to me. What a boss. <laughs> get any phone free when you switch to U.S. Cellular. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Those went fast. Okay, now what do we say? Cook them, flip them, enjoy them. Cook, flip, enjoy what? A Ajinomoto authentic Japanese goisers. Gyoza. Cook them, flip them, enjoy them. New Ajinomoto authentic Japanese style gyoza. Crispy, juicy, on your table in minutes. And what do we call them? Mm. That'll do. New Ajinomoto authentic Japanese style gyoza exclusively at Costco. Another year in the rear view. We take a moment to remember the winding roads on our way to carving up snow peaks, the rush to their games and family fun, last minute road trips and sun-soaked escapes, your favorite people in the passenger seat for game nights and tailgates, and all the journeys and memories that came between. Here is to gearing up for the roads ahead. Our entire team at McCurley will be here to help you find the right vehicle for your journey and keep it running at its best. For wherever this new year takes you and to get you back home again. Find your way home in a new 2024 Chevy Silverado with financing as low as 1.9% from McCurley Chevrolet. Walker's Furniture is overstocked with over $10 million in inventory. And more shipments are arriving daily, so we're forced to have an overstock clearance sale. Get big discounts of 15, 30, even up to 40% off select items in the store. With some discontinued items up to 70% off. Our loss is your gain, as we have to make more room in our warehouses for new shipments arriving daily. So for a short time, you can get big discounts. While supplies last at Walker's. E.T. and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And good Friday morning. The weekend is upon us and we've had a rough day. We had snow all day long through the area. I'm going to step aside. There's a lot of info on this. Our mountain pass conditions, Snoqualmie snowing hard right now. Chains are required. Some areas may be impacted. They're going to be doing some avalanche control up there. White Pass is seeing a rain mix with snow. It is closed in both directions due to high avalanche danger. They've got to do some avalanche control there and hopefully get that highway open a little later this morning. Stevens Pass has snow. Avalanche control going on up there, which could cause delays. And in eastern Oregon, they're seeing a wintry mix. Slick roads, chains are required. Today is not for the light at heart. Here's what's going on in the area with our Skywatch radar. Check it out. This is all freezing rain, ice, sleet coming through the area. The snow has made its way to the north, and we'll continue to see this activity for the next couple of hours uh, into the area. Let's take a look at Futurecast. This is at 5 a.m. Most of it should be up and out of the region by by then we have a warm front coming in, which should transition most of the precip, at least here in the lower elevations to rain showers. Now we are seeing another band of mixed precip and snow in the Cascades north of Ellensburg, but we'll
continue to see little pockets of freezing rain on and off on Saturday. The temperatures were supposed to be a little warmer and that cold air is just kind of hanging in tight. So we'll keep an eye on that. There's that snow once again through Yakima. This is a Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday expects some mixed precipitation, rain showers and snow, kind of a mix of everything as another system moves through the region. Uh, driving on those roads, they were slick this morning. I can't stress enough. Stay off the roads today if you can, at least till things clear up and they get them all plowed. Reduce your speeds. If you slide, turn your wheels in the same direction that you're sliding. Avoid those heels and steep inclines today. 26 degrees, Legends Casino Skycam. Our feels like temp is 18. Here's our storm track moving into Saturday, that mixed precip. Most of the moisture is going to stay isolated here into the Oregon area for part of the day, then make its way into the Cascades and in through the Columbia River Gorge. On Sunday, we have another storm coming in with more precip. We should start to see warmer temperatures, so most of the precip precipitation in our lower elevations will be in the form of rain showers. You'll see some spotty snow uh, and rain mix with snow in the mountains. Those uh, systems will continue to come into next week. Look for that morning wintry mix we've been dealing with. That should be out of the area. We'll see temperatures in the 20s and 30s around the region today. Mostly cloudy skies for us tonight with temperatures uh, down once again in the 20s. So the cold air just kind of hanging on, but we're going to start warming up as we get into next week. Let's take a look at Walla Walla and Hermiston. A Alert day here. Mixed precip, slick roads out there. A little bit of a break. Could see a little bit of rain. Slight chance of showers there. More chances on Sunday. And then look at that. We've got storm after storm coming our way into next week. But the good news is warmer temperatures mean it'll be coming in the form of rain showers. Tri-Cities and Yakima have alert days today as well. Most of our schools and activities around the area are canceled. We got a full list on our website. Rain into next week with temperatures in the 40s by the middle of next week. So again, I won't stress it enough. Try to stay off the road this morning if at all possible. Riley. Thank you, Stacy. A new state of emergency overnight as extreme weather hits more of the nation. Oregon is the latest state to declare an emergency because of the deadly ice storm there. And right now, just in time for the morning commute, snow is falling from the mid-Atlantic states to New York, up to six inches in some areas. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from this Arctic blast. Terrifying moments as another storm hits the east. This plane from Rochester, New York, arriving from Philadelphia, sliding off the taxiway after landing. And then we felt kind of a slide happening and then a, uh, a lot of jolting going on. No injuries there, but at least 41 deaths are now blamed on the extreme weather gripping much of the country this week. Driving has been treacherous. In Oregon, a Portland family is mourning the loss of three loved ones after a downed power line trapped 21-year-old Tadralia Briggs inside her SUV along with her boyfriend and their nine-month-old baby. The couple was electrocuted when they stepped out of the vehicle along with Briggs' brother who tried to help. The baby was later rescued. This morning, a new storm is dumping more snow in the hard-hit northeast. Philadelphia bracing for the most up to six inches with one to three inches farther north. Look at all these winter weather advisories from Montana to New Jersey, Philadelphia in a winter storm warning, and more brutal cold is on the way. Wind chills this weekend once again dropping below zero from Chicago and Kansas City to Nashville. Some Tesla drivers saying it's so cold they've had trouble charging their batteries. The White House now saying it'll investigate. The NFL also closely watching the weather after the Arctic blast set records last weekend. In Buffalo, the Bills are once again asking <laughs> fans to help shovel snow at Highmark Stadium before Sunday's showdown with the Chiefs. Come here, Robbie. And in Michigan, a daring rescue after this man fell through a frozen lake. Call her, call her. Police unable to reach him, so they tied a rope and rescue disc around his dog, Ruby. He called over his dog, and that allowed officers to eventually pull him out of the freezing water after 16 long minutes. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, the Super Bowl is one of the biggest sporting events of the year, and tickets to the big game go for thousands of dollars. But when we come back, we'll introduce you to someone who paid just $10 for a ticket to the first ever Super Bowl and has been to every one since.
A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and end confidence in your real estate journey. Enjoy nature with McBee Mountain being a short hike away and return to Anna Lari, where every sip of wine showcases Washington's beautiful terroir. Try one of Anna Lari's house-made pizzas where creativity and unique flavors change seasonally to pair with their delicious full-bodied wines. Take in the views of Red Mountain and experience the true meaning of farm to table showcasing the fruit of the land and their efforts. Make your reservation to visit Anna Lari Winery today. It's the final days of the epic sell-off at Furniture Row. And when we say it's epic, we mean epic. Shop today and find everything on sale. That means epic savings on sofas, sectionals, and accent chairs. Epic markdowns on dining groups, tables, and bar stools. Epic deals on bed sets, dressers, mattresses, and adjustable bases. Plus, no interest until January 2028. Epic styles, epic selection, all with epic savings. Find them today at Furniture Row. But hurry, sale ends soon. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Road makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months or get 2,000 NMAC cash on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. For the greatest selection at the lowest prices, come to Cost Less Carpet. As a general contractor, I bring my clients to Cost Less Carpet so they can see every option. Everything I need is always in stock. If it's trendy or new, I'm sure you'll find it here. And their team of designers are so fun to work with. It really is worth the experience. I can find everything for my home or my client's home, no problem. Shopping here is an awesome experience. Cost Less Carpet, where inspiration and ideas happen. Another year in the rear view. The rush to their games and family fun. Last minute road trips and sun-soaked escapes. Game nights and tailgates. And all the journeys and memories that came between. Our entire team at McCurley will be here to help you for wherever this new year takes you. And to get you back home again. Drive into the new year in a 2024 Mazda CX-5 with 0% financing from McCurley Mazda. Next ET, we're celebrating birthday girl Dolly Parton. Not a thing wrong with that. Plus, the stars circling Hollywood's members only EGOT Club. Well, shucks, I'll have to go and get me one, won't I? Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. The Texans battle the Ravens Saturday on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back. The Super Bowl is less than a month away. Tickets cost thousands of dollars, of mm -hmm. course. But when Gregory Eaton of Lansing, Michigan, went to the first ever Super Bowl back in 1967, he paid just $10 for his ticket, and he's been to every single Super Bowl since. Wow, now he's in his 80s. Eaton has uh, been a Detroit Lions season tickle ticket holder since he was just 20 years old. Now his dream for this year's Super Bowl is that his beloved Lions make it to the big game. Eaton was actually at the last Lions championship in 1957 before the Super Bowl even existed. Super Bowl 58 will take place on February 11th in Las Vegas. <laughs> that is impressive. Right. And I, I don't exactly know it, they're really hard to get. Right. Tickets. They're hard to get. Yes. They're super expensive. But imagine paying $10 for a Super Bowl ticket. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> All right. Coming up uh, weather wise, we've got cold conditions. The roads are very slick. I'm going to warn you once again, stay off uh, the roads this morning if you can avoid it. Definitely. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, New Hampshire voters are just days away from casting their ballots in Tuesday's first in the nation primary and the candidates are making their final push for votes in the granite state and congress has managed to avoid a government shutdown but lawmakers are still at odds when it comes to a permanent funding bill in today's tech bites instagram is rolling out a new feature to limit the time teens spend on the app at night the new feature is called Nighttime Nudges. If a teen is on Instagram for more than 10 minutes, it will encourage them to close the app and go to sleep. 
The nudges will come post 10 p.m. with the prompt reading, time for a break? Microsoft is giving away its artificial intelligence powered reading tutor app for free. All you need to use Reading Coach is a Microsoft account. Microsoft says the latest AI technology offers the opportunity for personalized transformative reading experiences. Bose is out with new wireless earbuds that clip onto the ear. The company claims the ultra open earbuds distinctive design lets some outside noise in and allows users to wear them easily with hats or glasses. All that convenience for about $300. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. Chances of a plane crash, 1 in 11 million. You're not going to finish this all tonight, right? Never waking up from anesthesia, 1 in 185,000. Validate your parking or just see how it goes? What? Why stress about the unlikely? Does a killer clown worry about being struck by lightning while winning the lottery? Sure don't. But your odds of falling victim to online crime are one in four. You need Aura. You, your family, all protected from scary online stuff. <laughs> Protect everything your family does online with Aura. <gasps> sore throat got your tongue? Mucinex insta Sue sore throat medicated drops. Uniquely formulated for rapid relief that lasts and lasts. That's my baby! <laughs> Get Mucinex InstaZoom. It's comeback season. Nature's Bounty Hair Growth. Help grow thicker, fuller hair with just one capsule a day of Advanced Hair Complex. Conquer hair thinning. And fall in love with your hair all over again. Only from Nature's Bounty. Republican presidential candidates are hard at work campaigning in New Hampshire ahead of the nation's first primary on Tuesday. And lawmakers in Washington, D.C. have managed to come to a temporary agreement in order to avoid a government shutdown. Well, our snow has stopped, but the ice has arrived. We've been seeing freezing rain for the last couple of hours. Please drive safe out there. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Stacy Lee. And as I just mentioned, the roads were very slick Definitely. for both of us driving in. Mm -hmm. I pulled out of my garage and I heard it going, <laughs> it was that <laughs> sleet ice. So yeah, all of our snow <laughs> fell yesterday. Now we've got a layer of ice exactly. collecting and on top. And if you do plan to get outside because of the snow that fell, make sure to get outside a little early to right. clean it off. I remembered, thankfully, put the car in the garage last night right. because I was <laughs> a little scared of what I might come outside to. A frozen car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, my advice is stay off the roads if you have that uh, opportunity. Stay home today. Uh, otherwise, just take it real easy, real slow mm -hmm. this morning. All right, let's take a look. We do have a weather alert day due to the wintry mix and ice and sleet in the region. All areas, all of eastern uh, Oregon and Washington until late this morning. It should start to dissipate and move on out of the area. I'm thinking around uh, 10 or so this morning, but here's what it looks like right now. It's right on top of the Columbia Basin. It is starting to break apart and move to the north, so we'll be watching that very closely. But the damage is done. That ice now is sitting on top of that layer of snow, and those roadways are treacherous this morning. 26 degrees on our Dust Devil Sky Cam. Feels like 18, so a little bit cold out there this morning. Bundle up. Here's our winter storm warnings and advisories. Those will start to disappear after 10 o'clock this morning, but we're still looking at an additional one to two inches of snow in the Yakima area with ice accumulating right behind that. This is where we're seeing most of the ice this morning. Uh, the I-84 corridor, I-82, all the roadways are going to be slippery, so please uh, avoid travel in the early morning hours. Here's our headlines today. Uh, warmer temperatures on the way. Look for some light mountain snow on and off through the weekend, and we'll be seeing rain showers in the lower elevations. Riley? Thank you, Stacy. Now to the race for president. Nikki Haley is sharpening her attacks on former President Trump, criticizing his record on issues like the deficit and, uh, and fentanyl. Trump hitting back. ABC's Melissa Don is in New Hampshire with just four days to go before the primary. Former President Trump and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley seem to respond to each other in real time, holding dueling media appearances last night. 
She's not going to make it. She has no chance. The reason he's throwing these temper tantrums is because he knows I do have a chance. When Haley, in a CNN town, town hall, slammed Trump for refusing to debate her in New Hampshire. He's not talking about the fact that he put us $8 trillion in debt over four years, and we're digging out of it, unable to figure out how we're going to pay that now. He's not talking about the fact that he didn't stop the fentanyl flow that's affected this state and all over the country when he had the opportunity to do it. He's not talking about why did he go and praise President Xi a dozen times after they gave us COVID? Why would you do that? There are a lot of things he doesn't want to answer. Trump was on Fox News slamming Haley and the New Hampshire primary process, which allows unaffiliated voters to participate. It bothers me, and the governor should have done something about it instead of talking, waste his time with Nikki. Independents and Democrats are allowed to vote. So in order to try and stop Trump, they go out and they sign up, and they can sign up very easily, and Sununu should have stopped it. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, in a distant third in New Hampshire, is focusing on other states. Speaking to radio host Hugh Hewitt, he said he regrets shunning most news outlets early in his campaign. I should have just been blanketing. I should have gone on all the corporate sh shows. I should have gone on everything. ABC News has learned DeSantis has said privately he will stay in the race, at least through Super Tuesday on March 5th. Tonight, Trump is expected to host a rally in Concord. Meanwhile, his GOP rivals are hosting campaign events throughout the day before DeSantis leaves to South Carolina this weekend. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Manchester, New Hampshire. Former President Donald Trump will remain on the ballot in Washington, a Thurston County Superior judge denying the request to remove Trump's name. Similar requests have been made in other states, many citing a section of the 14th Amendment that would prevent anyone from holding office if they engage in an insurrection. Officials in Colorado and Maine granted the request to remove Trump from the ballot, but those orders have been placed on hold as they play out in court. A signature from President Joe Biden is the last step to enact a stopgap stop gap funding bill. It prevents a partial government shutdown tonight. The continuing resolution creates new funding deadlines of March 1st and 8th. In the meantime, lawmakers are showing signs that they could cooperate on key issues. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Speaker Mike Johnson have some agreement on the budget. Leaders from both parties say they want to address the migrant crisis. And some Democrats argue controlling the national debt could help protect programs like Social Security, Medicaid and Medicare. U.S. Capitol Police say threats against members of Congress increased from the previous year. The department said it investigated more than 8,000 threats against elected officials in 2023. That number was up nearly 500 cases compared to 2022, according to data released by the department on Thursday. Capitol Police said in 2023 their investigations included concerning statements and both direct threats to and direct threats to both Democrats and Republican members of Congress. The threats were sent via email, mail, telephone and social media. Capitol, Pol Capitol Police added the number of threats against members typically surged during an election year. Now let's check in on your first alert weather forecast. Here's Stacy. And we're seeing that mix, rain mix with snow, with some snowflakes and sleet falling across the area. Plus, it's chilly right now, 26, with a feels like temp of 18. All the weather details coming up. More and more mental health professionals are saying their patients' number one stressor is burnout from work. We'll go over the signs and symptoms to look out for and share a few ways to avoid burnout. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Another year in the rear view. The rush to their games and family fun. Last minute road trips and sun soaked escapes. Game nights and tailgates and all the journeys and memories that came between. Our entire team at McCurley will be here to help you for wherever this new year takes you and to get you back home again. Find your way home in a new 2024 Chevy Silverado with financing as low as 1.9% from McCurley Chevrolet. Hi, I'm Gino at Italiston. Hi, I'm Andrew at Italiston. Excited to join my father's business, a true family business. 
And we got great news for you. We just got a fantastic deal on quartz and granite slabs that we want to pass on to you. You will be shocked at the savings. Come and see us for a free estimate. You'll be glad you did. We are with you every step of the way. Does shopping for bladder control products have you feeling like you need someone to be on the lookout for you? Now you have your privacy back. We're HDIS, and we home deliver bladder control products directly to you. We're always on the lookout for you. You get free shipping in plain, unmarked boxes. So your private matters stay private. We understand how you feel. For over 35 years, we've delivered bladder control products to millions of Americans, just like you. You don't have to worry about incontinence any longer. Call now for your free product sample pack and over $45 in money-saving coupons. At HDIS, we're always in stock. We carry all brands in hundreds of styles and sizes. You'll be sure to get what you need, guaranteed. For your free sample pack with your free catalog and $45 in money-saving coupons and free product samples, call 800-257-0683. That's 800-257-0683. If you're a high school senior, listen up. This message is for you. A college education is expensive. The Molly Davis Scholarship Program can help with up to $7,500 per year. It's easy to apply. Just go to yakimarotarytrust.org and click on the Molly Davis Scholarship tab. Hundreds of Yakima County residents have achieved the dream of a higher education thanks to the Molly Davis Scholarship Program. Applications in February 27th, so apply today. Jackson and the Olympians, Adam Copeland, and the star of Echo, Alakwa Cox. Plus, Fitness Week wraps up today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Windermere Group One. If you're feeling overwhelmed with work and like you have nothing left to give, you may be headed for or already experiencing burnout. ABC's Ike Joji has the symptoms and solutions. Burnout is really a state of anxiety and very often people reach this point and they're not sure how they got there. Psychiatrist Dr. Dion Metzger says many of her patients' number one stressor is burnout from work. Signs of burnout can include changes in sleep, heaviness in your chest, irritability at home, and inability to clock out of work mentally. If you are going home from work and you find yourself just thinking about the projects that you have coming up or an interaction you had with a coworker, where when you're home, you're still bringing work to home, that's usually a sign that we're, we're getting pretty stressed out when it's starting to kind of go over that boundary. Dr. Metzger likens burnout to a car's gas tank. That's easier to refuel before you hit E than waiting until you completely run out of gas and have to completely recover from burnout. If you're experiencing symptoms of burnout, Dr. Metzger recommends taking a mental health day. That means no errands and no doctor's appointments. Doing whatever brings you joy and rest. Joy and rest. Because there's things that we can enjoy, but it's not exactly restful. I love to watch movies and watch TV and binge watch, you know, sitcoms. For some people, it might be painting. Some people, it's like going, taking a hike and doing things outside in nature. Make sure your day has a break in it. You'll be surprised how many patients ask, like, like, how long is your lunch break? And they'll say, oh, I'm eating for five minutes between doing this project and doing this project. But no, like a for real lunch break. Like, let's bring those back into fashion. And communicate with your boss. Sometimes it's our reflex always be like, yeah, I can do that. I'm sure. Anytime. Yeah, I'm on it. But, you know, it's okay to push back and be like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to get to that this week. Solutions like working from home for a day, shifting your hours earlier to avoid traffic, or spreading projects out more evenly throughout the month can make a big difference. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington. Americans face frigid weather and that comes at a cost now and later. We'll break down the numbers when we come back. And we'll return with a look at your first alert weather forecast. That's coming up next. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Tonight. He told me I've killed before and I'm not afraid to kill again. The 2020 True Crime.
crime mystery. Something even more terrifying than a body. Answers from beyond the grave. There is a monster in me. 2020, tonight on ABC. Looking for a car with more room for adventure? Make your presence known when you drive away in a new 2024 Kia Sportage LX with all-wheel drive from Overturf Kia. Now only $29,999. Plus, get 4.25% interest for up to 48 months. You'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. In life's delicate moments, turn to the compassionate experts at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Whether it's hospice, palliative, or grief care for adults and children, we are here for you in Benton and Franklin counties. And the best part, our grief support comes at no cost to you. When life gets tough, we're here to guide you, ensuring you live your best life, even through the toughest moments. Visit us today at tccbestlife.org. Bring in the new year with style at Moore Furniture's New Year's Sale this holiday weekend. We're celebrating all weekend long with incredible values on furniture and mattresses in time for the new year. Your home deserves a fresh start for 2024, and we've got everything you need during the New Year's Sale at Moore Furniture. Visit your local showroom or moorefurniture.com to preview all sales specials. A semi-truck accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. If you've been hit by a large commercial vehicle, call Tamaki Law. Semi-truck insurance companies have the resources to deny any claim. That's why you need the experienced team at Tamaki Law to fight for the justice you deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Let's go! Put your hands together for the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters. This isn't just basketball, people. This is where what just happened happens all the time. Don't miss the Harlem Globetrotters 2024 World Tour playing Toyota Center January 21st and Yakima Valley Sundome January 22nd. Go to harlemglobetrotters.com slash WA for tickets. It's Monday Night Football on Saturday afternoon. Houston travels to Baltimore to face the Ravens with the winner moving on to battle for the AFC Championship. The Texans and the Ravens. It all starts with NFL Countdown at 11 a.m. Saturday on Apple Valley News Now. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And good Friday morning. Let's talk about those mountain pass reports this morning. I'll step out of the way. There's a lot of info there. Snoqualmie Pass is snowing very hard. Chains are required. Plus, they're doing some avalanche control, so there could be some delays. White Pass is closed in both directions. Once again, to uh, high avalanche danger on the pass. Stevens Pass has snow. They're also doing avalanche control, which could cause delays. Take it easy in eastern Oregon. The, the roads are slick that way. Chains are required for all vehicles. Here's our Skywatch radar. Here's what's happening. We've had that rain, uh, rain, freezing rain, that mixed precip that's been coming through the region all morning for the last couple of hours. So on top of the couple of inches of snow we got yesterday, we've got ice now landing right on top of that. So those roads, at least in my commute this morning, were very, very slick, very hazardous. Most of our schools and agencies are closed down today due to this uh, dangerous road conditions. They should improve later on today as those plows get out and get things cleared off. Here's what Futurecast is showing us. Uh, most of that uh, moisture in that situation will be out of the area by uh, mid morning there. We'll see another band of freezing rain across I-90 and up in the Cascades towards Stevens Pass as we get into Saturday, we have a little bit of a break, but we do have a shortwave system moving through where we could see a little more mixed precip or freezing rain coming through the area. On Saturday, things look a little more promising for some more snow showers on the east slopes of the Cascades through uh, I-90 Snoqualmie Pass area and then more mixed precip coming in. Now we have cold air still dropping down from uh, north and then this warm air mixing in. So that's what's creating uh, all of this wacky weather that we're seeing with rain showers to mixed precip to snow all within a 
very, uh, well, not a huge area. So some drive, driving safety tips for driving around on these icy conditions. You want to avoid stopping suddenly, stop very slow. Uh, avoid driving at all today, if at all possible. If you do slide, turn those wheels in the same direction. Avoid hills and steep inclines. 26 degrees on our Legends Casino Skycam. Our feels like temp is 18 degrees. And yes, that uh, ice continues to fall. Here's that storm track for tomorrow. Most of it will be staying into the south, but we will see that band moving up into the Columbia Basin uh, across uh, Portland, Oregon, more rain. There's that chance of snow in the Cascades with some mixed precip in the lower elevations. And the next system moving in on Sunday brings a lot of moisture in different forms as well, with again, the cold air and the warm air mixing together creating uh, lots of different uh, weather patterns through the region. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll have more systems coming through early next week with warmer temperatures on the way. Our te uh, temperatures around the area today making it well, not quite below freezing. 30 degrees Tri-Cities is the warm spot. 27 foothills of the blues, 31 in Yakima, 28 for Ellensburg. Tonight look for mostly cloudy skies, a little overcast. We have a little bit of a, a brief uh, cool off. No moisture precipitation expected this evening. However, you could see a pocket here and there. 20s uh, up through the Kittitas Valley and down into the Columbia Basin as well as the foothills of the Blues. Let's take a look at our seven day planning forecast. Walla Walla and Hermiston will see that mixed precip wrapping up later this morning. A little bit of a break on Saturday with some showers uh, possible later in the afternoon or mixed precip. More rain and uh, systems coming through on Sunday and we'll see more showers with warmer temperatures later next week. Here's what it looks like for the next seven days for the Tri-Cities and Yakima. So my advice, stay home this morning if you can. Riley? Thank you, Stacy. A huge section of the country has started 2024 with unusually cold temperatures, and a new system on the move is bringing more extreme cold and more snow to the central and eastern U.S. The extreme cold comes with a price tag, one that Americans may feel now and later. Karen Kafa explains. The extreme winter weather and frigid temperatures felt coast to coast this week can come with hefty costs, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. NOAA estimated overall damages and costs of a northeast winter storm and cold wave last February that produced some of the coldest wind chills in U.S. history at about $1.8 billion. A cold snap that knocked out power to customers from Texas to Maine in December 2022 cost about $8.7 billion. Tama Carlton is an environmental and resource economist at the University of California, Santa Barbara. She says there can be individual household costs for the extreme cold. If you work in a sector that requires you to be outside, like construction or mining or agriculture, probably a lot harder to do your job in these events, and so that affects household incomes as well as labor supply and productivity in those sectors. Higher heating costs, even for just a week or two, can pose a challenge and risks. We should be thinking about the households who are forced to trade off increased health risk from this cold event against paying more money to keep the, the home uh, warmer. Extreme cold can also take a toll on crops and put stress on livestock, which could eventually push up grocery prices. The current stretch has also been tough for airlines and passengers. Last weekend saw more than 6,000 cancellations around the U.S. Saturday through Monday, according to FlightAware. And when a flight is canceled, airlines are required to provide refunds. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. When we come back, sporting events are usually a loud and rowdy experience, but the high levels of stimulation can be pretty unfriendly to those who are a bit more sensitive to such things. So one freshman at the University of Evansville decided to do something about it. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, find and confidence in your real estate journey. What's bothering Archie? Politics. What the Supreme Court says ain't got nothing to do with the law. Do accept. Goldfish. Come on now, I draw the line on goldfish. All in the Family, Sunday night at 8 on MeTV for Yakima and the Tri-Cities. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry. I'm giving you fix. A water heater that quits. <laughs> In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer. The world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Another year in the rear view. We take a moment to remember the winding roads on our way to carving up snow peaks. 
the rush to their games and family fun, last minute road trips, and sun-soaked escapes. Your favorite people in the passenger seat for game nights and tailgates, and all the journeys and memories that came between. Here is to gearing up for the roads ahead. Our entire team at McCurley will be here to help you find the right vehicle for your journey and keep it running at its best. For wherever this new year takes you and to get you back home again. Drive into the new year in a 2024 Mazda CX-5 with 0% financing from McCurley Mazda. In life's delicate moments, turn to the compassionate experts at Tri-Cities Chaplaincy. Whether it's hospice, palliative, or grief care for adults and children, we are here for you in Benton and Franklin counties. And the best part, our grief support comes at no cost to you. When life gets tough, we're here to guide you, ensuring you live your best life, even through the toughest moments. Visit us today at tccbestlife.org. Come aboard Water to Wine Cruises. Our unique weekend brunch cruise offers delicious dishes by our chefs as you take in beautiful views of the river. Start the morning off right and visit watertowinecruises.com to book your brunch today. A small historic town in Idaho's Bitterroot Mountains. It's really unparalleled. Two ski resorts are 15 minutes away from here. Wallace. The entire city is on the National Register of Historic Places. Fly the Northwest. Just take a look around. It's gorgeous. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Next extra, as the bear roars its way through award season. Can you believe it? It's pretty wild. What's on the menu for season three? And the wild rumor about Jeremy Allen White's bloodline. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. E.T. and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Well, good Friday morning to you. Let's take a look at our temperatures around the area today. Now, once we get through this uh, stormy morning, things will start to calm down. We'll see cloudy skies and temperatures warming up just below the freezing level in the Yakima and Kittitas Valleys. Let's take a look at the Columbia Basin. Pretty similar conditions here. We're seeing all that rain and freezing rain this morning, though. Whoa, those roadways are slick out there. And taking a look at the foothills of the Blues, most of that snow tapering off, except for maybe in the tippy tops of the uh, upper elevations, but uh, below we're going to see that rain and freezing rain with temps in the 20s. So yeah, it's uh, been pretty treacherous this morning, Riley. Yes, even before the freezing rain started, it was pretty slippery slidey out right, there. So yeah. now that we have that freezing rain right. on top of it, even more dangerous. We've got a nice little layer of ice on top of the snow. Fun. Yes. <laughs> Drive very, very safe if you have to go outside. That's right. Well, the University of Evansville kicked off a new event that could become an annual tradition. On Wednesday, the men's basketball team held a sensory inclusive game. As Liz DeSantis reports, one of the players got the idea from his younger brother. Brantley Myers is his brother's biggest fan. He's going to be really famous. The eight-year-old goes to every single University of Evansville basketball game to watch his brother Tyler Myers play. It didn't take long, though, for his older brother to realize that he had trouble sitting through some of the games. He was having a hard time with overstimulation, and I always wanted to do something about it, and so I started doing research. That's when Tyler learned that one in six people in the U.S. dealt with some sort of invisible disability. He started the nonprofit Sensory Inclusion to do something about it. It gave me a platform to really share my, my love for my brother and to help people like him. Two years later, the freshman guard is hosting the Ford Center's very first sensory inclusion night, complete with dimmed lights and free bags with sensory friendly gear. We want to set a standard of uh, normality. We want everyone to accept the individuals and, and be able to wear your headphones out and, and have your fidgets and, and not really think of anything of it. Brantley is pretty proud of his older brother. How do you feel about that? Tyler's family aren't the only ones who are excited, though. Amanda Kaysen says the inclusive event makes it easier for both her sons to have a good time. My son, if it's too loud or overwhelming, it's a little hard to get him to want to come. So it was exciting to see this and try it. 
with both her boys happy, that means Kaysen is finally able to relax and enjoy herself too. Seeing things where the community is working together to support kids that have special needs in any way whatsoever is a really cool thing to see. The sensory friendly game is something the team hopes to do every year. That's that, a great idea. That is a great idea. <laughs> love that. I love it too. <laughs> All inclusive. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's talk about what we've got coming up. Uh, we've got a weather alert day. We've got ice.